Welcome back to Texas for the sprint race. Sam Adalas Canton starts on pole by the random draw of the game. Here is the full qualifying results. Now take it to truck side. So again, sprint race, you already know the deal. Half points and on and whatnot. About to get the race command in a few seconds here. doesn't start until we ask our drivers a question. Are you ready? Drivers, will you please start your engine? Okay, engine's fired up. Good to go. So, after Texas, Nathan Norman has now taken over the points lead. Going for a second championship within three uh, seasons of well, three separate series. Uh, Giorgio just dropped one spot. He's only two points back. Connor Breeden is up to third. He is six points back. Alexander Rowe drops one spot, seven points back. And Trey Wright's up to fifth. Green flag's out. And we're underway once again here at Texas. And the turn one they go. Nice and clean. Side by side. Got one row of three wide racing. Here comes Andrew Johnson. He just got his first top ten. Looking to get his first win. Yeah, he had a good car yesterday. And here comes Fonomer Otz in a seven. Can he make it two straight? And a first lap led by Andrew Johnson. He'll pick up the first bonus points. Well, bonus point. That's half. Unless at least the most laps, of course. Well, here we go. Three wide. Ryan Benjamin in a 10 car. Who somehow did not flip in yesterday's race. Now on the inside. Looking for the race lead. And he clears him. And here comes the 19. He has not had a good season. Not in this series. Oh, 9 car in the 18. They go around. Yep, you know it's going to be big. Or actually, no, it's not. Yellow is out. Benjamin's leading. Unless they're racing it back. Oh yeah, they're racing it back. Nearly 4 wide. Just enough room to squeeze by. Here comes the 81. He gets by on the inside line. Rodriguez in the 43. Can he get him? No, he goes to the inside, but it's going to be too late. So it'll be the 81 car leading on the first yellow flag. Alright, first caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. Coming off turn 4, let's see. Carter Joey in the 57. He got into the back of the 9 car. Collects the 18. They both uh, spin. Going down the grass. And I thought this was going to be big. Real big. He gets in the driver's door in a 9 car. Riley Houston, I think he just spun out of 55, caught him. And he gets it get in the wall as well. Wow. That's, uh, you don't see that too often. Such a small crash like that. See the 9 car, he just goes for a spin. Does a 180. Comes back up. Almost got away without any damage, but still amazing. How that wasn't any bigger. Tim Randolph, uh, Patrick Mew. Those two teammates. Very similar cars. Sponsor some kind of soda, it looks like. Yeah. First caution of the day. I'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out. Getting ready for the green. 81 car. No noodles up front. Yeah, we talked about noodles not having a, a great season, but he gained eight spots after Texas. The most, it looks like. And Blaze Ibutar lost, no, no, actually no, it's Mitchell Collins who he lost the most. Nine spots for that two team. Alright, trying to keep that momentum up for the 81. They get a win, they can get into the top 10 easy. Maybe. If everything is goes right. Rodriguez in second in that 43 car. Where is he set in the points? 29th. Ouch. Brad Cheston in the 34. Haven't really talked much about him this season. Had a mechanical failure in yesterday's race. The green flag waves. He goes to the outside, opening opens the door for the 19. Nathan Norman in the 24. 
He is our points leader, but he has yet to win a race. Up, back to fifth, into the top five. Rodriguez on the 43, gets a push. Our next race will be at the Texas World Speedway. Yep, three Texas races in a row. After that, we will be going to Bristol, I think. No, ISM. Auto Club, then Bristol. And then Bristol after that will be Bristol again. That will be our final sprint race of the season. After that, we take Daytona double headers. Not a sprint race, of course. Like, just at Bristol. Not the, uh... Our last sprint race. And then I'll have to close out the season. So. Still got several races left. Still some big moves can happen here. Or stuff. Nathan Norman, he'll lead a lap. That's worth about a point. Or, he yeah, is worth a point. Fortimer Otz in a seven. Can he do it? Again. A lot of sprint races is a new thing. Oh, 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 contact. Oof. Any closer and... You know what's gonna happen. Ryan Benjamin, back to the front. Ten cars going for it. Gonna lead another lap. 26 in points, that 10 team. They obviously need a good finish. 75, 41, double zero. And maybe soon the 40 car on the, on the bottom. And here comes Savin Oskin. Our pole sitter gets a little high, tries to run the 10 car up the racetrack a little bit. Oh, plays the guitar, Ryan Butcher, they're gonna make a four. Yep. Not letting up. Contact. Leaning, leaning, leaning. Four wide into turn three. Not coming to the checkers. Oh, no. No, no. Yep, yep. There they go. There they go. Yep, this is going to be a big one for sure. A lot of cars involved in this one. And it's Ryan Butcher in the double zero. He leads. And that might make us go to overtime. Yep, again, we're going overtime in this sprint race. We'll take a look at the replay. So we're three for three. So Ryan Butcher, uh, Ryan Benjamin, he was on the top of seven, hooked him, and off they went. Here from the spectator view, see how many cars piled in. Yeah, that four wide move was not a good move. Box the drivers in. And luckily no one flipped. I thought someone's gonna get plowed and then get turned over. Riley Houston Jr. he couldn't avoid it. He gets in the Brad chest and Noodles was the closest to flipping over. 13 to Trey Wright. Yep, his car in smoke. He is done. But for the rest, of course, they get another chance. Right the roof cam here for a 13. Right in the middle of it. As well as several other drivers. And that is 24. Okay, where's the. Yeah, they got in that uh, weak spot, possibly. And look at Andrew Johnson. He's all the way to the grass. He almost went into pit road illegally. Or, okay, maybe not. I kind of over exaggerated that. Ride the roof cam as well. Sideswipe from the 13. Well, he, okay, he, he, sides, he, got, uh, he sideswiped him. So, uh, he got forced down there. But yeah, well, lucky break for the 78. So our second yellow gives us forces off in overtime. We'll take you, we'll show you the, sorry, how they line up, then overtime. So uh, there'll be 27 cars lining up. Alexander Rowe, yeah, he uh, blew a header, not due to from the, not from the crash. Try right out Legacy also out. So 27 cars will be restarting. Should be interesting. Ryan Butcher will be our leader. Well, now I'll take you to overtime. Here we go. Overtime, I believe, the fourth time this season. There's only one sprint ra uh, non sprint race that we had a green white checkered at. I already forgot what track was. Was it Darlington? Might have been Darlington. Pace vans in. Here we go. Two to go, and they take the green. Green flag waves, and we're underway once again. Ryan Butcher, and the double zero leads him to the line. Looking for his first win. Carter Joey in the 57 giving a big shove. 28 car just squeezes to the inside. Just covering the 4 car. 88 of Anderson to the middle. 
Mitchell Collins in a two. He lost the most spots in yesterday's race trying to get it back. What better way to do it than to win the race? Up to second. Oh, the four car almost got turned by Johnson. And here they come to the white flag. No one is wrecked yet. Here we go. White flag. Collins got him on the inside. 28 car. He won Charlotte. Looking for another mile and a half win. Two car goes high. 28 to the low side. Anderson going for three. Three wide back there for fifth. Almost. Four wide all the way back there. All right, here they come. Anderson's got to run. He's got to run. Can he get him? No, I don't think he can get him. 28 car. Second win of the season. He wins it here at Texas. Another one for the 28 team. Anderson comes up a spot short. Fourth team got third. And Collins gets third. So good finish. Get those spots back. Take a look at the rest of the race results. So, M.A. Odula gets his second win of the season. Max Anderson second. Collins, Giorgio, Ryan Butcher. I mentioned the top five. Andrew Johnson, two straight top ten finishes for them. Carter Joey seventh. Molly eighth. Oh, that's the first top ten for her too. Or, well, not too well. Nah, she got her first top ten, so. Yep, now all tw uh, 30 drivers have gotten their top ten. At least one top ten. Brad Justin 9th and Peter Savano gets 10th. You can already see the rest of the race results there. And that's it for today. I'll take you to victory lane.